Long John Silver Long John Silver is a fictional character and the primary antagonist of the novel Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. The most colorful character in the book, he continues to appear in popular culture. Profile In Treasure Island, Long John Silver is a pirate who was quartermaster under the notorious Captain Flint. Long John Silver had a pet parrot called Captain Flint, often seen sitting on his shoulder where she would nibble on seeds. Silver's importance to the late Captain Flint can be seen in that fact that a quartermaster on a pirate ship ranked higher than any officer except the captain himself, and that a quartermaster could also veto the captain's decisions whenever the ship was not in a battle. The quartermaster was elected by the crew and one of his tasks was to lead the boarding party from the quarter deck during boarding attacks. Silver claims to have served in the Royal Navy and lost his leg under the immortal hawk. His left leg was cut off close by the hip, and under the left shoulder he carried a crutch, which he managed with wonderful dexterity, hopping about upon it like a bird. He was very tall and strong, with a face as big as a ham, plain and pale, but intelligent and smiling. He claims to have been the only man whom Flint ever feared. Like many of Stevenson's characters, there is more than a modicum of duality in the character. Ostensibly Silver is a hard-working and likable seaman, and it is only as the plot unfolds that his villainous nature is gradually revealed. His relationship with Jim Hawkins, the novel's protagonist and narrator, is interesting, as he serves as a mentor and eventually further figure to Jim, creating much shock and emotion when it is discovered that he is in charge of the mutiny, and especially when Jim must confront and fight him later on. Although willing to change sides at any time to further his own interests, Silver has compensating virtues, he is wise enough to pay attention to money management, in contrast to the spendthrift ways of most of the pirates, and is physically courageous despite his disability. For instance, when Flint's cash is found to be empty, he coolly stands his ground against five grown men despite having only Jim, a boy in his teens, to back him. When Silver escapes at the end of the novel, he takes three or four hundred guineas of the treasure with him, thus becoming one of only two former members of Captain Flint's crew to get his hands on a portion of the recovered treasure. A separate cache of bar silver is apparently left on the island. The repentant Maroonie Ben Goon is the other, but he spends all P.S. 1019 days. Jim's own ambivalence towards silver is reflected in the last chapter, when he speculates that the old pirate must have settled down in comfortable retirement, it is to be hoped so, I suppose, for his chances of comfort in another world are very small. Stevenson's portrayal of Silver has greatly influenced the modern iconography of the pirate. Silver has a parrot, named Captain Flint in mockery of his former captain, who generally perches on Silver's shoulder, and is known to chatter pirate or seafaring phrases like pieces of eight, and stand by to go about. Silver uses the parrot as another means of gaining Jim's trust, by telling the boy all manner of exciting stories, many of them likely fake, about the parrot's buccaneer history. Now that bird, Silver would say, is, maybe, two hundred years old, Hawkins they live forever mostly, and if anybody's seen more wickedness it must be the devil himself. She sailed with England the great cap on England, the pirate. She's been at Madagascar, and at Malabar and Suriname, and Providence, and Portobello. She was at the boarding of the Viceroy of the Indies out of Goa, she was, and to look at her you would think she was a babby. Silver is married to a woman of African descent, whom he trusts to manage his business affairs in his absence and to liquidate his Bristol assets when his actions make it impossible for him to go home. He confides in his fellow pirates, that he and his wife plan to rendezvous after the voyage to Skeleton Island is complete and Flint's treasure is recovered, at which point Silver will retire to a life of luxury. Ironically his share of Flint's treasure PS 400 is considerably less than that of Ben Goon's share PS 1000 and what he himself boasts is his share from England PS 900 and from Flint PS 2000. According to Stevenson's letters, the idea for the character of Long John Silver was inspired by his real-life friend William Henley, a writer and editor. Stevenson's stepson, Lloyd Osborne, described Henley as a great, glowing, 
massive-shouldered fellow with a big red beard and a crutch. Jovial, astoundingly clever, and with a laugh that rolled like music. He had an unimaginable fire and vitality. He swept one off one's feet. In a letter to Henley after the publication of Treasure Island Stevenson wrote, I will now make a confession. It was the sight of your maimed strength and masterfulness that begot Long John Silver. The idea of the maimed man, ruling and dreaded by the sound, was entirely taken from you. Modern Portrayals Actors who have portrayed Long John Silver in the various motion picture adaptations of Treasure Island include Wallace Beery, Evo Guarani, Orson Welles, Charlton Heston, Eddie Izzard, Lance Henriksen, Robert Newton, Anthony Quinn, Tim Curry, Jack Palance, Brian Murray, Oleg Borisov, Boris Andreev and British actor Ivor Dean in a televised version of the novel. Robert Newton followed up his two Long John Silver movies with an Australian-produced TV series. BBC One has presented the story four times, with Anthony Quinn, Bernard Miles, Peter Vaughan and Alfred Burke, respectively, as Long John Silver. In the Soviet animated film Treasure Island of 1988, Armand Higarkanyan provided the voice talent for John Silver. Ivor Dean played the character in an acclaimed European four-part miniseries in 1966. He intended to reprise the role in another series with more adventures of Silver. He began writing it with director Robert S. Baker, but his sudden death in 1974 stopped all further plans. In 1985, this script was used as foundation for a Disney ten-part TV series called Return to Treasure Island, starring Brian Blessed in the role of Long John Silver. John Silver was also the protagonist in Bjorn Larsen's fictional autobiography of the character, Long John Silver, The True and Eventful History of My Life of Liberty and Adventure as a Gentleman of Fortune and Enemy to Mankind, ISBN 1-86046-538-2 respectively 91 7263 2 the novel was first published in Sweden in 1995. Silver is the main character and Silver, my own tale is told by me with a goodly amount of murder by Edward Schupack, ISBN 978-0-312-53936-8. The recent 2013 Big Finish audio production starred Tom Baker as Silver, a role he also played on stage at the Mermaid Theatre, London. UK in 1981. The 2014 original series Black Sails on Sturts is the character, John Silver, played by Luke Arnold. The series takes place 20 years prior to the events in Treasure Island. In popular culture In anime and manga The 1978 Japanese series Takarajima portrayed John Silver as a tall blonde man. In audio James Kennedy played Silver in the tale Spinners for Children audio adaptation of Treasure Island, United Artists Records, UAC 11013. Orson Welles played Silver in the July 18, 1938 Mercury Theatre on the Air adaptation of Treasure Island. William Reedfield played Silver on the May 14, 1948 Your Playhouse of Favorites adaptation of Treasure Island. James Mason played Silver opposite Bobby Driscoll's Jim Hawkins on the Lux Radio Theatre's January 29, 1951 adaptation of Treasure Island. There have been two BBC radio adaptations of Treasure Island, one in 1989 with Peter Jeffrey as Silver and one in 1996 starring Jack Shepard as Silver. Tom Baker starred as Silver in Big Finish Productions 2012 audio adaptation of Treasure Island. In film and television Charles Ogle, who also played the Frankenstein monster in Edison's 1910 film, played Silver in a 1920 silent film of Treasure Island, which also starred Lon Chaney. Wallace Beery was the first speaking Long John Silver in the 1934 film version of Treasure Island. Robert Newton became the definitive Long John Silver in the 1950 Disney live-action film version of Treasure Island. He was the first actor to employ the phrase ARRRRRH, matey. Long John Silver, a 1954 film, starred Robert Newton once again as the title character, which he also played in the 1957 television series The Adventures of Long John Silver.
In the 1958 television series The Adventures of Ben Goon, Silver was played by Peter Wingard. In Soviet miniseries of 1982 Treasure Island John Silver was portrayed by Oleg Borisov. John Silver is depicted in Lalo Tresses, a movie by Alain Berberian. The cast includes Gerard Jugnot and Alice Taglioni. In the 1986 Disney miniseries Return to Treasure Island, Brian Blessed played Silver. Tim Curry portrayed Long John Silver in the 1996 film Muppet Treasure Island. Charlton Heston portrayed a much darker Long John Silver in the 1990 made-for-television Treasure Island. In one of his last film appearances, Jack Palance portrayed Long John Silver in the 1999 film version of Treasure Island. Long John Silver is voiced by Jim Cummings in the 1994 movie The Pagemaster. In the 2002 Disney film Treasure Planet, an animated science fiction adaptation of Treasure Island, depicts John Silver as a cyborg, voiced by Brian Murray. Hector Barbossa from Pirates of the Caribbean is similar to Long John Silver. He owned a monkey named after his previous Captain Jack Sparrow, and was referred to as the one-legged man in Pirates of the Caribbean, on Stranger Tides. Eddie Izzard played Long John Silver in the 2012 Sky miniseries. Luke Arnold plays John Silver in the Stats TV series Black Sails, a prequel story set 20 years before Treasure Island. In literature Portobello Gold is a prequel novel to Treasure Island written in 1924 by Arthur D. Howden Smith. Long John Silver is a Franco-Belgian comic series written by Xavier de Ryzen, illustrated by Matthew Lawfrey and published by Dargold in French and Sinbook in English. John Silver, a fictional space pirate with mechanical leg who appears in the Italian comic book Nathan Never, was inspired by Long John Silver. According to J.M. Barry's play Peter and Wendy, Captain Hook was the only man whom Silver ever feared. Flint and Silver is a prequel novel to Treasure Island written by John Drake. In music The rock band Jefferson Airplane had a song and 1972 album named Long John Silver. Jethro Tull song Mother Goose, on the Aqualung album, references the title character as well as four on twenty laborers, concluding with the line, and I don't believe they knew that I was Long John Silver. In 1960, John Lennon changed the name of his group to Long John and the Silver Beatles, himself taking the stage name of Long John Silver. In August 1960, they changed it again to simply The Beatles. In other uses A restaurant chain, Long John Silver's, is named after the character. Retired porn star Daniel Mee took his stage name of Long Dong Silver from this 